morning to everybody. It is um, March 20 something. I'm not sure. Solo today. Nobody's with me. So I've had to get all my solo filming crap kind of together and I hope I got it. Um, still in Mississippi. Um, yesterday we did not load a gun for the first time in quite a while because tornadoes and all kind of nasty stuff came through here and uh we had to batten down the hatches and essentially i sat around and edited all day but it's uh blown out of here maybe a little breezy today but um, other than that i think it's gonna be clear skies um all that rain yesterday brought the water up so i'm having to kind of access the spot that i want to hunt in a roundabout way so i ain't gotta cross any big creeks i think there's some small ones we're still gonna have to get across and that may be challenging we'll hope that the water's dropped because uh well, the way these bottoms work, if it rains a little bit, everything funnels there, and you need a boat most time. But anyway, we ain't got a boat, so we may have wet feet, but we're going to get in there. Um, like I said, got to go around this thing. Got to go around the around our rear end to get to our elbow, essentially is what I'm saying. So we got about an hour until turkey should start gobbling, and we need every bit of that to get in here. So I'm going to shut up, get my crap together and get to walk. I'm at the river and it's outside, it's not outside its banks, it's just really high. Can't jump across it. See it, but there's a log down there. Slippery log, but I could probably scoot across it if I needed. I was right back here shedding a layer and I these owls got to raising cane like they have been all morning and I could have swore I thought I heard a turkey gobble. It would have been back in here at peace. This river makes a big U right here. If it was a turkey, I don't know which side of the river it was on. I've been sitting here for a few minutes. And he hadn't gobbled again. Al's been going crazy, so I'm... Man, is that... I thought I just heard it again, but if I did, it's way back in there. Let's move on. I was starting there. I was going to give a call, but... I think I'm going to wait. Let's move on up. that one or not. Looks like a little better alternative. I hope I don't drown me in this camera.
It's right here.
maybe they're just on the other side of that little roll there. But he won't gobble. There's been crows and, and crap everywhere and he won't gobble, so I'm probably fixing to hit him with a call right here. And if he does gobble on the other side, we're going to sneak up to shotgun range of the crest and, and set up shop really quick. I got the big camera in my pack because I just had to crawl to where I'm at and it's just cumbersome, so. a freaking hen in a tree. I knew she was still up there. Got a hen in a tree right there above me and that's what's causing me issues. There's a hen on the ground below her too. Ian's just all hopped across. The hens are over there yelping and stuff getting together. I can't believe that turkey ain't gobbling at it. I need him to give me a gobble, let me know where he's at. So I guess there is a bee. I think it was five hens in this big old pine tree right here that I somehow got under. No. Blowing him all over the place, and that's right where the gobbler was. When I laid eyes on him, he was standing under that thing, drumming. And the hens are hopping, hopped across. There are 150, 200 of you now. Kiki and then yelping and stuff. Yes. <laughs> 
me and ain't gonna allow for a lot of listening. coming right to us. got us one holy crap i bet that wasn't on the video it was just to the left of this tree but boys it was go time i was hoping he was going to take that bottom right there but he decided to come up on this little high point with us man and he got right there whoa thank you jesus i needed that
Man alive. I needed that. I got a, 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 an admission of guilt here. I have not. It is the 20 something of March. And this is going to sound kind of silly to some of you guys that don't even get to start turkey hunting until April, but it's the 23rd of March. And I have not gotten the opportunity to sit down with myself or just, just yelp up a turkey for me. Um, I know that probably sounds greedy as, as, as I'll get out, considering that I have killed a couple turkeys and gotten the opportunity to yelp some up for other folks, which has been fun. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't trade it for the world. But that being said, it's the 23rd of March and I haven't gotten to either sit down and just yelp up a turkey for me or at least have somebody on my shoulder video and me. Just, I ain't got to sit there and yelp and me and the turkey do our thing. And yesterday was my opportunity, my first opportunity here in Mississippi to do that. And um, <laughs> I did something I haven't done in several years or a few years. <laughs> we've been going pretty hard at it in our, uh, we've been taking, I, I took a nap a couple few days back and I set my alarm for 4 p.m. so that we could uh, make sure I was up in time to get in the woods and go roost. <laughs> And, um, well, when I came time to set my alarm for yesterday, I just went to my little alarm. It said four. I turned it on, put it down, and went to sleep. <sighs> Needless to say, it was a, that 4 p.m. alarm. I didn't pay attention, and I missed a morning yesterday morning. And granted, it was a terrible morning. It was spitting rain, overcast dreary just a nasty morning um and but it didn't change the fact that i was going to be able to get out there and go and and I, I didn't so i pouted all day yesterday pouted all day i needed this today i needed it thank you buddy Kind of been hiding out. I came up here to give y'all a kind of a rundown from where I was at, and the turkey started gobbling down in that. Well, he gobbled when I was down there, but he started gobbling better when I got up here. So I kind of been hiding out, don't want him to see me. But look what I got here. Look, 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 look. Just, 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 look, just look. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. As a white law says, it smells like spring. Oh, I love it. Oh, man, that's fun, boy. Oh. Wait nine months to be able to do this for a couple. Gosh, that's fun. Let me walk y'all through this again though. There's where my butt was planted. And I had taken this deal here and I had it right there. So we were off to the side. Had the camera right here off to the side of this tree. And I was right here like this. And there was even trees right down there that I ranged at 49. I said, man, it needs to be on our side of that. And that's the way he was going. I was peeking around this tree and caught him coming across that bottom out there about buck 25 or so. When I yelped, the turkey turned and started coming this way. And I thought he was gonna follow that bottom up and it was gonna be beautiful. I had the camera sitting right here so that when he come across that bottom, I'd kill him here, but he got to right there and was coming and then turned and came right here and so I'm sitting right here and I let him clear that tree right there 
and I was afraid with us sitting off the tree, he was going to see us and bust. He was going to be so close. So as soon as he cleared this tree right here, I brought his head up, and I'd be dang if he went right behind that little fell over bush or I mean that little limb with leaves, and I had to kind of lean in and was able to get one down there to him. It's a lot tighter than I like them, but we'll take what we can get. We 18 and a half yards is where he was standing, so. Oh man, that was fun. Man, we got us a spot now. Sun's hitting us, warming us up a little bit. Cause it got plum cool with that breeze. Fine, wild turkey gobbler sitting beside us, looking over one of the most incredible bottoms. You could probably, probably couldn't paint one with an easel and watercolor any better than this one is here. I mean, there's a goblin turkey in the back of it right now. So, fine, fine time. Fine time. Man, that is fun. You open turkeys up out of these wide open creek bottoms. I mean, they are wide open. I can see... I bet I can see 200 yards, over 200 yards sitting right here. But I guess I should uh, probably light us a cigar before I doze off again. <clears throat> this sunshine's getting me all cozy. Let's do it. Y'all want to smoke a cigar? Let's smoke a cigar. Let's just smoke one right here, right now. That's what I'm going to do. Here's to a fine Mississippi gobbler out of a fine creek bottom on a beautiful, breezy March 23rd day. Come on now. Well, I was gonna try to smoke my cigar here. But I run into a little bit of difficulty. Because I think the flint has went out of my dog old zippo here. Not getting no fire. And while I was wrestling that bear, I had a hen walk out, turkey gobbled right over this flipping crest from me. Single long beard walks up right here, sees me, kind of puts and kind of meets back up with his hen and they start mingling down there in the bottom about a hundred. And I look up and catch four more hens coming across the center of the bottom. They're out there about a buck twenty-five, buck fifty. Still a few in here, but my but my zippo he did.